All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Shack. For you guys new to the channel, this is where all the happiness happens, uh, the stuff that uh, uh, a lot of people do not like. And, uh, well, here's the thing. There are evil people in this world, and there are good people in this world. And I'm sure the majority of you folks are good people in this world. So we're going to keep it like that. So what are we doing here? I am going through and trying to establish what, in my opinion, is the, the best three gun rifle possible okay uh in ergonomics performance uh how it performs trigger systems barrels uh how the muzzle brake works with the rifle how does the scope work in conjunction with the barrel uh the recoil system the gas system the the buffer tubes the buffer springs the buffers uh all that stuff comes into play and what I was going to do originally was take, because I have a JP lower right here on this rifle right here, okay? I was going to take the upper, because this is a JP right here, and I was going to take, this is a proof research barrel, this is an 18 inch 107 twist, this is an, uh, no, this is a uh, 20 inch uh, 107, this is a 20 inch 1 and 8, both of which I absolutely love to the nth degree. I really want to get this guy right here up and running so that I can do some comparisons uh, with it. And it's a full JP, uh, uh, what do you call that thing, bolt carry group in this thing. This has never been fired. So it's gonna be interesting to see. And I might just go ahead and try to get this thing up and running so that we can put something together for a future video, but test some of these one and seven twists, uh, one, 77 grain rifle uh, bullets that are coming in, both from Callaway Ballistics, I've got AAC, their Sierra and the OTMs that we're going to test. All right, so let's talk about this. So I decided that I was going to do this, and then I was like, wait a minute, this is a three gun, my three gun rifle, the biggest and baddest one that I've had in a long, long time, is this guy right here. Now, why? I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? I what I could do is I could go ahead and re put the barrel from this thing. On this upper, this is a Rainier arm billet upper to lower receiver set that I really like. And then I was thinking to myself, hold on one second. I'm going to move this out of the way because this is eventually what we're going to talk about. And I, this is what it's all, this is what the fun and games is all about right here, guys. Um, I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. I'm not trying to assemble anything. So the wonders over there at YouTube, just go with it, man. Just go with it. All right. So anyway, pull this guy out. And so this was... A, uh, this is a JP handguard here. This is really a nice handguard because it's one of those ones that has a texture on it. It's like a sandpaper. Uh, this is a very nice deal. I did a review on it a long time ago. We are running Apollo S on this guy. Why change this thing out? Um, or, wait a minute, we got a perfectly good lower right here. And so here's the one of the things. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the way because we don't need you anymore. I like the handguard. I, I love it's the Mark III handguard, but it's just a lot longer than what's available for this guy. This is a 20 inch barrel. This is a 16. So and then I looked at it and I know <laughs> you guys are laughing because I know, but this is part of the fun. This is why we do what we do. Uh, if I had to take this lower, okay, or upper receiver, upper barrel combination, five foot, ele five foot. Five pounds, 11.4 ounces. And that's with the Arca rail on it and everything. So this guy here comes in at six pounds, 11.9 ounces. A lot of weight, but alas, here's the coolest thing. This is the Platinum Series scope, and this is their, hold on, wait for it. This is their ACSS Raptor in M8. So this is in meters, okay? I like this. And the only thing that I'd have to do if I was jumping into a competition and I had an upper that went bad or a scope that got bounced and you don't have any other way of doing it is I would have to just put this back onto this guy right here, change my laser deal out to uh, mils or meters and go from there. Or you could do a meter conversion because a lot of times at the range, they do have the uh, distances already done for you. Okay, so we're going to leave this guy alone. I, I'm not going to change out the upper and lower receiver, uh, this thing, with the new barrel, okay? Um, I am going to, in other words, and this is horrible stuff that we have to deal with, uh, this is a really nice lower. And it has the flare mag wells, what I want. It, currently, I am running the AR Gold Trigger. Uh, I was having some problems with that. 
trigger. So which is this is an ideal situation. And I will tell you this. I uh I love uh, Trigger Tech has, and I just talk about this real quick. Trigger Tech has their uh, safety selector switches. This is pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, Mark sent me the ones that are uh, in uh, chromed out in gold, gold plated, or whatever they call this stuff. Okay, not really something I, I like it, but it's uh, something that I really want to do. Is I want to because I had very much good luck. I ran this lower in the last three gun event, and if you look right here, if you could see that, that is the Arma spec. Uh, SFT, their safety selector, and B safety selector, and I liked it because it's huge. Every time I transition from any position, and not that I'm moving fast, but we're going to be moving fast here pretty soon, um, we're going to change out that, and then I'm going to put this guy on there. Now, in the great wisdoms of the world, the boys and girls at YouTube, I can't show this to you, but it's only going to take a second, and we're going to switch this out right here. So, with that, I love running, this is the Ace uh, stock. Uh, I'm running the JP. Uh, this is their low mass operating system, which works really good with the JP spring. And it's just, it's silent. Now, is it as good as the, the Sonic Capture spring? I don't care, it works. That's the whole thing. You see, a lot of people are like, oh, well, the measurements are off. Well, screw your measurements, man. Does the damn thing work or not? Yeah, it does. Then shut the hell up and run your damn gun. I, I just laugh. Okay, so anyway, at the end of the day, we're going to have this guy, this guy, and we're going to put this on top of this lower receiver. And let's see, combined weight for this thing. Let's just do this. Put this guy here. Bring this over here. Do -do -do. All right, zero that out. And we're going to go run here. So combined, this whole thing is like 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Not bad for a fully loaded AR. There are some out there that run in the 5-pound range. I don't care. I'm not big into that deal. Light is not always best. But the shoulder position, the eye relief is automatic every time. Uh, running, let's see here. So, yeah. Basically, where I run a classable stock is where this thing is. The eye relief is perfect every time. You don't have to worry about it, adjustments, things like that. And that's why I do what I do. So let's do this also for shikadoodles and jiddle the doodles. The AR Gold Trigger, which by the way is a fine trigger. Just this one has an issue with <laughs> resetting. Okay, so let's take the old Lyman trigger thing out here. Let's see if the battery's charged up in here. Nope, need new batteries. Stand by. Okay, so we're back. We got our batteries set up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of this thing. Let's do this. I'll charge this guy up there. All right, so the AR Gold, and we'll probably just send this back, and I'm going to put it right there in the apex of... Yeah, one pound, 13.7 ounces right there. Not bad. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull it again. Yeah, I'll send this back. I like the AR Gold trigger for competition. It's it's one of those things. It, it moves around. It's, you can slap it. If you're doing burn down stages like Auto Finger Mike, perfect. Um, all right, yeah, we're going to see what that thing holds. Do -do -do. I gotta read the directions on this guy. <laughs> okay, here we go. One pound, 13.2 ounces. Okay, so now let's do this. We're gonna put this guy in. This guy will go down to one and a half pounds to four pounds. Do we wanna run it that low? I don't know. I will tell you this. We had a stage last year at Memorial. I did run that lower with the, uh, the uh, Trigger Tech Diamond. There's two different ones. You got the red, and this is this one. This is zero creep. So let's go ahead and throw it in there and have some fun. I got to go get some tools out of my trunk of my car because that's where I've been operating from lately. Here we go. Stand by.
All right, so we're sitting here, got this thing completed and done. Um, I will tell you this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it over to the table here in a second. Let's just see what the pull is on this guy. One pound, 7.8 ounces. We're going to leave it there. I think that's perfect. So let's do this. Um, so you've seen, this is the trouble you can get into. Uh, here's the AR Gold Trigger. We're going to send that back to the factory, see if they can go ahead and remedy the situation. I went through uh, Memorial 3-Gun and the other gun, 3-Gun competition. This guy, I kept on thinking I was getting light primer hits. And I was, I was ha hammer follow. Let's put this thing on the table, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Stand by. All right, so here we are with the reconfigured uh, three-gun rifle the way that I think it should be done. Um, we have some really good parts. we got some modular parts on here, nominal parts, that kind of thing. But I'll tell you what, as far as functionality and ergonomics with what I am looking for in a rifle, and let me tell you something, this is about it. Uh, this guy is it. Again, you know, uh, 7 pounds, 11 ounces. Not bad. I do like that armor spec safety. Uh, I will go back later on, put some Loctite on that. But here's one thing I want to show you is that we do the incredible reset. We'll go ahead and let me get on in here. All right. I want to show you the reset. And here's the, okay, wait a minute. This is the Trigger Tech Diamond. It's the red one, okay? And the difference is, you see that right there? That is a little bit of take up, a little bit of movement that you have, okay? Uh, is that a bad thing? No. This is considered by those guys as being two-stage, okay, where you have some take up and then finally the trigger pull. And again, let's talk about, look at this, the reset on these guys, is that's the reset right there. So when you're doing follow-up shots, double taps, things of that nature, That's really important, uh, and, but it is a little bit of a take up. Is that a problem for me? No, you, you deal with that on a lot of rifles, right? But now you have the zero creep from the guys over there at Trigger Tech. And uh, he, won, he sent the gold trigger, which is pretty cool. But see there, there's no take up on that thing. And, well, let's go ahead and do it here. Now, oh. Uh, kind of sick and guys I'm, I'm a firm believer in these guys uh kind of like my primary armor stuff but uh yeah that's it let's take a look at what it looks like inside the lower and i'm at this point i'm just cleaning my rifle right but that is what it looks like inside the rifle let's see if we can turn down that uh a little less bright but look at that. So you have, uh, you can adjust the trigger right here, and it's easy as that. I like that one pound, whatever it is. Man, that's nice. Unbelievable. But that's it, guys. Uh, big shout out to the guys at Trigger Tech. Thanks, Mark. Uh, we're going to fix something really pretty. I'm going to make something for my wife to put these guys on. But that is one nice, nice trigger. And you know what? As a whole, you know, we're running the Rubber City Armory. There's a bolt carrier group. It probably needs to be a little bit cleaner than what it's looking right now. But uh, the CMMG bolt, well, what do you call that thing? Charging handle. And she's a pretty, pretty rifle. Ready to go. And, man, I tell you what, we were nailing them all the way out to 600 yards with this guy without any problems. A lot of people were talking about what the difference is when you start talking about putting the, uh, the higher riser uh, versus the regular height had no bearing on the impacts at all. Okay, with that being said, guys, hey, I know it's a long video. We're getting back into the fun of things, reviewing some gun parts. We're going to bring bring a bunch of stuff out here on the table and uh, give it hell. It's going to be a lot of fun. So KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for freedom. Because sometimes you just really got to have fun at a three-gun competition. Look at that. That's just absolutely awesome. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom.